Hello and good morning. My name is Rachel Sage. With me are Andrew Wood and Andrew Sanders. Our presentation today is regarding the General Data Protection Regulation, otherwise known as the GDPR. Technology has the ability to revolutionize the delivery of legal services. Across every legal sector, processes are ripe for transformation via workflow automation. So what we've been finding today is that technology has the ability to change the way lawyers think, the way they do business, and the way they interact with clients. The implementation of these legal technologies may not only improve a firm's core operations, but may reveal entirely new business opportunities for a competitive advantage. Thus, MSU law students sought out to bridge the gap between technology and the delivery of legal services. The result was an AI application that provided legal services in a more timely, efficient, and cost-effective manner. We were able to do so by collaborating with Perkins Coie attorneys. At the present time, Perkins Coie attorneys were having to manually review contract after contract in order to ensure compliance with Article 28. What the firm was finding was that this process was extremely timely and cost intensive. Thus, our task was to essentially develop and automate a process that provided the same legal services but in a more efficient way. The result was an AI application that would re uh, review and amend existing contracts between third party vendors and controllers in order to ensure compliance with Article 28 requirements. Uh, users were asked a series of questions um, with each answer steering the inquiry down a particular branch, ultimately landing on the applicable advice. Uh, the solution was made possible by utilizing Neotologic technologies. Now, Andrew Wood and Andrew Sanders will provide you with further insight into the functionalities of this project. So our app helps users ascertain where they are with Article 28 GDPR compliance measures. It does this by asking users a series of questions, starting with broad questions such as whether they're a data handler, a data processor, or a data controller. From there, we ask them questions on their specific data processing agreement if they have one in place. If they don't, we will provide them with sample language or a sample agreement that allows them to help them draft one of their own. As you can see here for a broad overview of our app, they select a service first, and then we start down the broad question avenue and then move into more specific DPA inquiry questions. Finally, we end with a report that gets emailed to the user um, based on the questions they answered. So starting with our first service, it's total, uh, we call it total consult. Uh, it starts with the preliminary questions and ends with the user report. Uh, you'll see on the next slide with the do-it-yourself service that it's very similar to the total consult path, but what the important difference is, is we add in sample language for uh, compliance measures that they've indicated that they do not currently use. Moving on to the, what we call the guided intake path, it's our most robust service. It's um, similar to the do-it-yourself, but the most important difference is the supplemental intake questions, which helps provide a Perkins Cooey associate with extra information um, to help streamline the intake process for those types of users. Without further ado, here it is. This is some live footage of actual demo of the app. You'll see some key features going through these next couple slides I'll highlight for you. Email collection, we want to be able to get the information from the app to you. So at the end, an email is generated, it'll be dropped in your inbox with a lot of that information that you provided in the app. Next you'll see document upload. If they're going to assess, Perkins Cooey is going to be able to assess contract for you, we need to get it from you. So we take the document, and then in our final slide, in our final report, as you'll see, you can confirm that it is in fact what you tried to upload so you can check it. We use pop-ups because this is a new law, new regulation, terms of art can make people feel a little uneasy and it's different. So we unpack that information for the user so they have an idea exactly what they're answering. Andrew uh, mentioned the sample language earlier. This is where we fill those gaps for you indicated are in your contract. We provide those models for you, you can plug them in. Down the guided intake path, as you mentioned, we do intake information. We get some, some of that general intake information from you via question and answer, some additional questions. And as I mentioned, all that's provided to you in a final report slide that you get via email. We think this is going to be very useful for Perkins Cooley, and hopefully they can use it as a model for a lot of different things that they do. We can improve their process. At the same time, we're trying to establish a process. The GDPR, as people know, is fairly new. And simultaneously with establishing it, we can help streamline it. We want to get in attack mode with this new regulation. We don't want to be on our heels waiting for bad things to happen. We want to establish process. We got some feedback from actual GDPR subject matter experts outside of our group subject matter expert, and they gave us some overall some positive feedback. User will greatly benefit. The gap assessment they thought was very informative and helpful. And overall, it was, it was good positive feedback based on what we were able to provide and create. So where does Perkins Cooey go from here? 
what can they do with this now that they have this tool we've created internally at their own processes, externally with clients. Well, we broke it down into two steps, you know, external and internal. Externally, they need to implement it. Get it to clients, get some feedback. Is it effective? Is it ineffective? And then internally, take that, integrate it into their current process with the goal of hopefully improving and then eventually, what we all want to do, innovate. Do something different, do something new, set yourself apart. On to key takeaways, as Dan already mentioned, the most important thing we found was that you really need to do some process improvement before we started getting into the Neota Logic build. We did this by doing uh, a process map of where we thought the uh, app would go and what it would look like before we actually started building. We also got a lot of feedback from our project partners before we actually did any constructive build, which really helped shape the app into what it is today before we started down a hole that we couldn't get ourselves out of. Um, we also did a lot of uh, introspective research with ourselves and one of the most important things that we started doing early on and continued doing throughout the project was meeting before and after our substantive calls with Perkins Cooey in order to ensure that we were all on the same page with regard to starting the build or what we just covered in our meeting with Perkins Cooey. We hope you'll join us in the project gallery for a full demonstration of our application later today. Thank you. Thanks.